Hi there, my name is Patrick Andrews. I'm the owner and founder of Blue Duck Power Washing, one of Detroit's biggest power washing companies. And today I want to talk to you about cleaning aluminum siding and the do's and don'ts. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are the aluminum siding is pretty dirty um, or it might even have oxidation on it. So your first thought may be, why don't I use a pressure washer? Well, let's talk about that just a little bit before you start using a pressure washer. Long story short with aluminum siding is that a pressure washer can be as damaging as it is contributory. And what can end up happening is that you can end up streaking your aluminum siding. Now if you streak your aluminum siding with a pressure washer, it's not easily going to come off if it does come off as well at all. So if you've run into some friends or heard some horror stories of this happening, um, let this video be a reinforcement not to do those things, not to use a pressure washer at high pressure to accomplish the cleanliness of the aluminum siding. With that said, you can still use a pressure washer and here's how. The first step is you're going to want to give your aluminum siding a really good rinse. Get as much dirt as you can off. That way when you do go to the next step, which is going to be a soft bristle scrub, you're not messing around with a ton of dirt, getting your mix dirty, getting your water dirty, and so on. So the number one, or the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and use your garden hose, or if you're a pressure washing company, or if you have a pressure washer, I want you to go ahead and just give it a solid rinse. Now if you're using a pressure washer, this means one of two things. It either means, one, you're going to be using a soap nozzle. Um, if you're not using a soap nozzle, you're using a yellow or green tip, make sure you're standing back far enough that you're not going to streak that siding. Um, just to be safe, 5 to 10 feet, you know, it, it's not going to make a whole big difference. The point is that you're away from the siding and you're ensuring that you're not doing any damage. Now the next step is going to be using a very widely available chemical, um, and that's TSB, trisodium phosphate. Now the great benefit of trisodium phosphate with a um, aluminum sided house is that not only is it going to remove the dirt, not only is it going to clean the aluminum siding, but it's going to remove that oxidation. Now that oxidation is something that has amassed over time. So when a house or a home is originally built, the aluminum siding will be one color. Let's say it's a light blue. Now over time, the oxidation is going to turn it into more, you know, an even lighter blue, give a white haze to it. This is exactly where the TSP, the trisodium phosphate, is going to come in. Um, just so you know, trisodium phosphate is very inexpensive. If you haven't heard of it, you can get it at Home Depot, uh, most hardware stores, Kmart, whatever. Um, so you take your bucket, okay, and fill it, you know, halfway with water and then use like a 5 to 1 mix ratio with your trisodium phosphate. You've rinsed, now you're going to scrub the home. If you have a power scrubber, great. If you have a telescoping wand with a power scrubber, great. These are things that are all going to make it a more succinct process. If you don't, no big deal. Use a soft bristle brush, a car wash brush, making sure that you're not going to scratch the home. If you are using a car wash brush, you don't even have to worry about that. Use your 5 to 1 mix ratio with your TSP. You could probably even get away with 10 to 1. And you're going to scrub it on. Dunk in your brush, give it a good scrub, making sure that you cover all the areas 100%. This means overlapping. Go back and forth, back and forth, overlap. What you're going to see, the greatest result in this whole process is going to happen in this step. Because the TSP, the trisodium phosphate, is going to separate the bond that that oxidation has with your aluminum siding. Once that bond is separated, if you have a great buildup of oxidation, you're going to notice that the oxidation is going to start to run off. A white haze, all the water that comes off is going to be white, almost like a light, you know, a, a watery milk coming off the house. This is good news. This means two things is happening. One, the home's getting clean, and two, the oxidation is coming off, it's being removed, 
and you are getting that aluminum siding to a clean original state. Um, so you're going to do this the whole house, you know, be as, be as thorough as you, as you need to be with that brush. If you're using a soft bristle brush, you're not going to cause any damage to the home. So you got that done. You've got your pre-rinse. You're going to do the scrub with the TSP water combo. Okay. Now all you're going to do is you're going to repeat step one, give it a good rinse down, make sure that that trisodium phosphate isn't going to sit on that surface for a great amount of time. Um, you know, a couple minutes, no big deal. Five minutes, no big deal. If you're in high heat, you're going to want to get it off, you know, the sooner the better. But typically, just rinse as you go. That's all you basically need. Now, your aluminum siding has gone from oxidized with a white haze plus dirt. Now we're clean. Most of the oxidation, if not 100%, has been removed. You're going to notice a variation in color for the positive. You're going to get back to that original state. Now what you're going to do, if you really want to put the finishing touch, and if you're a company, you know, I always recommend doing that, or if you're the individual at home, I also recommend doing this. Any light colored aluminum siding is going to really, you know, shine in the sun if you do the finishing touch, which is just a water and bleach combination, again, using your soft bristle brush. And that way, it's the finishing touch. When the sun shines on it, it's going to be bright and white nice beautiful if you're a residential customer of a power washing company you're going to be happy if you're a power washing company you're going to be happy because your customer's happy or whatever if you're doing it for a mom whomever you're going to be thrilled with the results so again to reiterate one we're going to rinse it down get as much dirt off as possible two mix up trisodium phosphate in a bucket go ahead and use a soft bristle brush Scrub down the whole house, make sure you overlap, 100% coverage. Three, you're going to rinse that all off. Four, the final step, if you really want to do a great job, you're going to go ahead and use a bleach water combination. Repeating step two, that's it. That's how you clean aluminum siding. If you use a power washer at high pressure and close range on aluminum siding, you'll streak it. You can't really get those streaks off. If you end up streaking it, Check out another video on possibly how to hide it, blend it all in, but it's not pretty. So my biggest recommendation is just to follow this process and don't try and do it any other way unless you want to uh, have a customer very mad or be very disappointed with your project. Have a wonderful day. This is my tip of the day. Again, my name is Patrick Andrews with Blue Duck Power Washing, and I'll talk to you.